Howdy folks, this is Tony here, and please excuse the t-shirt, I am just so angry about what I just read that I want to just make this video right away, I didn't feel like finding a tie or a collared shirt to try to look a little more formal. But anyway, I don't see how our government could be so incompetent. This new eviction moratorium thing makes absolutely no sense. Now, I'm going to explain to you why the CDC stopping evictions is theft, it violates the Fourth Amendment, and it's actually destroying our country. Now, let me first say what you should do about the rental situation in the first place. Release all of these COVID restrictions so people can get their jobs back. Get rid of the vaccine mandate. Get rid of the mask mandate. Get rid of all this garbage and just let people go back to work like normal individuals. Therefore, they can make money. Therefore, they can make their rent. Why would you force somebody to close their business and then force the landlord not to be able to get rent from them? That is not how capitalism works, folks. Listen, the way it works is if the person who owns the business has enough money, they can hire new people. The new people who get hired are now richer themselves because they have a job and they can use that money elsewhere. And that's how you get new businesses started. That's how you get tax revenues paid. That is how you make an economy work. You make it work by creating enough opportunity, keeping the taxes low and keeping the red tape low so that people can afford to start new jobs, start new businesses and take new risks. You cannot succeed in this country by just working at Walmart. It doesn't work like that. Screw you, Walmart. I meant to say that. I don't shop there. Anyway, so the problem with the eviction moratorium is like this. It's discriminatory because the people who live in houses are not getting a foreclosure moratorium. If you're paying mortgage right now, if something were to happen to your job, the government still expects you to pay taxes on your property and the bank still expects you to make your mortgage. And they're not saying, well, you can't foreclose. And with this eviction moratorium, a person who makes rent, they don't have to pay rent until the eviction moratorium elapses and they just issued a new one. So you see how the government can say, oh, it's temporary but let's extend it. It's temporary. Let's extend it again. It's temporary. Let's extend it again. The effect is they're essentially making it illegal to evict tenants for non-payment without actually going through Congress and the Supreme Court and actually passing a law the way it's supposed to work in our country. And that's why we really need to get rid of a lot of these three-letter organizations. You know, they're not, the CDC shouldn't really exist. It's not serving really any good purpose. Just let the states decide. Let it be a local state Depart state health department kind of issue, but the CDC is an absolutely pointless organization. And where in the Constitution do they have the right to decide what landlords do? Where in the Constitution does a three-letter organization that was pulled out of thin air have the right to confiscate property? That makes no sense. It violates the Fourth Amendment, which protects against unwarranted searches and seizures. Now think about it from a landlord's perspective. If you're a landlord, you still owe the government taxes on your property. They expect they expect to see the tax revenue every time, every month when you pay. But you're now not allowed to have your tenant pay you. And if they have, and if they have, you can't evict them if they don't pay you. So your tenant doesn't have to keep paying you, but you have to keep paying the government. In other words, the government is taking something from you which you're not able to gain back yourself. How is that not theft? That flies in the face of the Fourth Amendment. And so the what, what do you do to help these people who are suffering? You remove the COVID restrictions so they can get their jobs back. Well, what about the spread of the disease? So many of us in the, this country have caught it by now that we now have natural immunity. So we might as well just do our best to move on with our lives without all of these unnecessary restrictions that crush businesses. And a final note I wanna say is, I think this is a concerted effort to give China and other foreign investors more of our land. Because think about it, if the landlord goes into foreclosure because he can't afford to keep his property, that puts it back on the market. And in the United States, there've been a heck of a lot of Chinese investors buying up property in the United States. Now I wanna let you know, if you are Chinese, I have nothing against you personally, but the Chinese government is 
corrupt as hell. And I and the Chinese government has outright said that it considers the United States a threat. So they want to weaken us and destroy us. So think about it this way. This is why I have a problem with a lot of these Chinese investors picking up property in the United States. Let me use an analogy to help you understand it on a common level. Let's say you're a guy, you represent the United States. Some other guy over there represents China. Let's say this guy, he hates you and wants to steal your girl. Would you let him rent an apartment in your house? Would you let him rent a room in your house if you know what his intent is? So why would we weaken our country and open it up for China to invest more in our country and steal our patents, steal our research, and do all these destructive things? Let's end this madness. I I can't take it anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. You know what? I think that we need to get people with common sense in the government. You know what? I If I had the money, if you guys do a GoFundMe, if I had the money, I would run for Senate in Virginia because I can't take this crap anymore, okay? Tony Myers for Senate, if you think it's a good idea. Otherwise, we need to find a way to defeat this madness. We need to sue their butts off. We need to have legal recourse, and we need to take our country back from these left-wing hellhole bats.